Hey friends, today we're going to be doing a high level first impressions on Wildhorn Snow Goggles. This is not a sponsored video. I actually did buy these three pairs, but I will be returning one in the future. So stick around to find out which one I'm returning and why. When looking for snow goggles, there was three things I took into consideration. First of all, price. I know that some of these goggles can get pretty expensive, north of $300, and I wanted to set a budget of $150 per pair. Okay, two lenses. I typically do ride during the day, but I wanted to expand my riding time and potentially ride at night, so I wanted a pair that had interchangeable lenses. And number three, color. I wanna look good while I'm out in the mountains, so I wanted a pair of goggles or a manufacturer that offered plenty of options so I can match my gear nicely. Now, with those three things in mind, I was doing my internet search and I ran into Wildhorn. I liked what I read, and the thing that really pushed it over the edge for me is seeing that they're a supplier to the US and snowboarding team. Let's get into the goggles. There's three pairs that I'm gonna review today, starting with the Roca Junior. Here's the Roca Juniors. I picked this up for my fiance. She's got a pretty little face, so she was looking for a smaller goggle. Now, both the Roca line, this is the Roca Junior, and the Roca Standard, I'm gonna show in just a second, sell for $69.99, and the replacement lens sells for $29.99. Okay, let me show you how these work. So, these do have a magnetic replacement lens, but I also like that they have a little hinge on the side that just helps me keep these in place. Okay, so let's go ahead and replace these goggles, show you how easy that is. I'm gonna be swapping them out for the blue lens which I think looks great. Um, one of the, the highlights that I'll mention that makes this different than the larger standard pair is the breathability. So I'm gonna show you this real quick. See the top, there's a lot of mesh up top, that's good. Um, the only area where I'm a little concerned is towards the bottom. There's, there's smaller breathable mesh areas. So you know we'll have to report back in the future to let you know how, how they worked out. Now let's go ahead and move on to the standard Rokas. Here you go for size comparison. Now let me put them like this. And as you can see, there is a substantial size difference between them, okay? The other thing that I was mentioning is, so you got a nice little mesh on the, the Roca Juniors. Now the mesh on the Roca Standards is covered with this um, soft plastic, which is nice. Now here's all the breathability that you have on the standard pairs in comparison to the the juniors. Again, the juniors I think is a little limiting with the, the Roca standards. Look at all that mesh going around the lens, which I think is pretty good. I'm actually gonna try this pair on just so you can compare this size, which is, is the size that I'll be using versus the next pair of the pipeline, okay? So here's for size comparison. Just like the way this, this feels, okay? One other thing I wanted to mention on the Rokas is I really like, I'm not sure if this makes any difference in terms of performance, but I really like how soft the uh, these goggles are, specifically uh, the Rokas. Now let me go ahead and show you what this looks like with the, the silver reflective lens. Very easy to put on. They just, they basically just snap on. Now close the hinges and, and you're good to go, okay? Now for comparison purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the pipeline. This is Wildhorn's biggest pair of, uh, of goggles and I'll point out a few things that make them different. So for size comparison, take a look at this. The size isn't incredibly different, but it is the pipeline are bigger goggles. The pipeline has more of a cylindrical lens. As you can see, it's, there's not, not as much curve as you saw with the, with the Roca goggles. So the Roca goggles have more of a curve now again, it is pretty easy to remove the, um, the lens. You got these hinges here on the side, um, just like you do on the Rokas. But the nice thing about these is, let me show you. You actually have a little grip area on the lens, both on the top and the bottom, which is nice. It just makes it easier to remove the lenses because the magnets are uh, surprisingly strong. Now let me show you what it looks like with the other pair of lens and how, and how you remove these. Now easy it is to remove these lenses. They just snap on. There you go. Now this pair lens still has the protective film inside, so don't mind that. 
Now let me put on this lens too, so you can see for size comparison. So it's a big lens, it takes, a, it takes up a large portion of my face. This lens is a little bit more, the frame is a little bit more solid. So it, like I, I showed you with the Rokas that the lens is completely malleable. This is a little bit more solid. Personally, I just like the, the softer feel of, of the Rokas. When I originally made my Wildhorn purchase, I bought the Roka Juniors for my fiance and I bought the pipelines for myself. When they came in, the color was not exactly what I expected. Now, I don't, I don't blame Wildhorn for that. Uh, the name of this color I think is called Wine, so I should have expected a little bit more of those pink undertones. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I'm not sticking around with these. And the other is um, the frame itself. I mentioned that this frame is a little bit stiffer. I personally like the, um, the, the softer frame of the Rokas. And then the size. I like how the smaller, so the smaller Roka look on my face. All right, uh, that does it for today's uh, high level review. I do plan on doing a more in-depth review once I get these goggles up in the mountain. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you found this content valuable. If you did, please hit that like button, comment down below, let me know what you'd like to see from me in the future, and don't forget to subscribe. That way you can be in the know next time I drop my next video. And with that, I'm out.